Hey guys, I'm here for Wednesday review of the uh, DVD Fiends, and um, we're at week 40-something. We're almost at a, a full year, so that's really cool. Um, okay, so this week I will be reviewing Roger Corman's classic, A Bucket of Blood, and I actually just got finished watching the movie. Uh, one of my friends, Weston, actually recommended the movie to me, and um, I'm re actually really happy he did, because... Um, Okay, Bucket of Blood starts out, we follow a uh, busboy named Walter, and um, he's not the brightest guy. Uh, nobody likes him. Uh, like, everybody just makes fun of him. Uh, he works as a busboy in this hipster, like, little artsy uh, cafe, and uh, all these hippies, well, not really hippies, all these really artsy people are, uh, they're smoking up, talking about poetry and sculpture, and they always have somebody either singing or, uh, talking about poetry, or just, yeah, uh, someone performing on stage, and, uh, one of the guys, uh, Walter looks up to, his name is Max, he's a, uh, poem writer, and, uh, he's always trying to talk to him, and never really gets any respect for him, so, uh, one night when Walter goes home, uh, he hears his neighbor's cat in the wall, and while he's trying to get the cat out, he starts cutting into the wall, stabs the cat accidentally, so when he takes the cat out, he doesn't know, yeah, he doesn't know what to do with it, so he decides, uh, since he wants to fit in with everybody, he, uh, takes the cat's body and molds a clay Skull, molds into a clay sculpture. He, put, he just puts clay over it and says, oh, here's my sculpture. And it's so detailed because it's actually the cat that everybody seems to really like it and people start respecting him. So he's, uh, he's loved by everybody. So, um, yeah. One night, uh, after everybody's raving over his stuff, uh, some hippie woman there gives him, what was it? Yeah, it was heroin. And, um, as a just a free gift, because uh, she really admires him, so... Uh, a cop sees this, follows him home, and um, he doesn't really know what heroin is, because, once again, he... I guess he kind of... I guess he... Nah, he wouldn't be retarded. I think he... I don't know. So anyway, um, he goes home, and the cop follows him home, sees the heroin in his apartment and threatens to take him down to the uh, station and when he points the gun at him threatens him to go down the well not really just to scare him to bring him down to the station uh... walter gets scared and kills the cop so uh... yeah and of course he molds him into a clay sculpture and uh... shows him as his artwork so uh... yeah i'm not gonna give away the whole movie that's uh... i don't think that's even half of the movie um, that's just setting it up. The movie, I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it was. Uh, I really, really enjoyed it throughout the movie. It's it's a dark comedy. It's a, It had some really, really interesting characters. Walter, uh, in the beginning, is kind of funny. And as it goes on, you just begin to really hate him. Like, really realize how sick he is as he starts to kill people and mold him into uh, his statue artwork. So, um, yeah, there were some really, really, really fun to follow characters, like the, uh, poet that, uh, he looks up to, Maxwell. Uh, he's always spewing out random lines of poetry, and that, that's pretty funny. Um, for some reason, he reminds me of, if you've ever seen the 2000 movie Waitress, uh, he reminds me of the, uh, guy that the lead girl's friend is sent on a blind date with, uh, the guy who just spews out random poems. He just reminded me of him, and that always made me laugh. I mean, the character's pretty funny, but, uh, yeah, the, mo the ending for this movie, uh, is perfect. I, I really want to give away the ending, but, um, I'm not going to. Uh, it's only an hour and five minutes, so if you have a short, or if you have, like, an hour free, Definitely watch this movie. It's available anywhere, really. It's public domain, so you can find it online. It's on YouTube, Google Video, uh, Hulu, 
any public domain torrent site, you can find it on there. It's a, it's an entertaining movie. Um, definitely worth rewatching after you watch it the first time. Uh, let's see, what else is there to talk about in this movie? Um, yeah, uh, this will probably be definitely one of Roger Corman's best movies. And uh, I've seen a lot of the stuff that he's produced, not enough that he's directed, like shit like Dino Croc, which uh, uh, most of his stuff I don't like. But um, he wrote and directed this. I wasn't. I think he wrote and directed. Uh, nope. Anyway, uh, I guess it's just uh, Roger Corman's newer produced stuff is absolute shit, so that maybe. I never really got into Roger Corman stuff, but um, it's, I'd say it's about as good as Death Race, because that's really the only one that comes to mind that I can compare it to. Yeah, I don't watch that many Roger Corman movies, I'm more into trauma and Italian horror, but yeah. So, um, uh, if I were to rate Bucket of Blood, I'd give it a 7 out of 10, solid 7. Um, yeah, check it out. Once again, it's pretty blah, It's pretty easy to find. MGM has DVD out, which I imagine would be uh, remastered. The uh, I'm pretty sure the one on YouTube and Hulu is uh, the MGM version, which is remastered. But um, yeah, there are a bunch of dollar DVDs out there. You should probably find, which uh, won't be the best transfers, but yeah. Uh, so that was my review, and I'll turn it over to Foz Rotten for Thursday.